Do you have a soft spot for desserts or perhaps a fondness for strawberries? If so, you're in the right place. Welcome to the world of sweet indulgence where we're going to explore one of the most beloved springtime desserts, the strawberry shortcake. This classic treat is a delightful combination of flaky biscuits, juicy strawberries, and smooth whipped cream. But what's the secret to making it just right? Stick around as we delve into the art of making the perfect strawberry shortcake. Before we start, gather all your ingredients. For this recipe, you will need fresh, juicy strawberries. They're the star of the show after all. Next up, we have all-purpose flour, a staple in any baker's pantry. We'll also need baking powder to give our shortcakes that perfect rise. Sugar adds the sweetness we crave in a dessert, while a pinch of salt enhances the overall flavor. Cold butter will provide our shortcakes with a flaky, melt-in-your-mouth texture. Heavy cream whipped to soft peaks will be the crowning glory atop our shortcake. Finally, a splash of vanilla extract will add a layer of depth to our dessert. It's these simple, quality ingredients that will transform into our delicious strawberry shortcake. Now that we have everything we need, you are ready for the next step. Preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 220 degrees Celsius. While that's heating up, we'll prepare our shortcake biscuits. This is the heart of our strawberry shortcake, so let's pour some love into it. Now let's begin by taking two cups of all-purpose flour. Add half a cup of sugar for sweetness, a tablespoon of baking powder for that fluffy rise, and a pinch of salt to balance it out. Mix these dry ingredients together in a large bowl until they're combined. Next, we're going to incorporate our cold butter. You'll need one stick and it's essential that it's cold. Cut it into small cubes and drop them into your dry mixture. Now here's where the magic happens. Get your fingers in there and quickly mix the butter into the dry ingredients. You want to end up with a mixture that resembles coarse crumbs. Why do we need to work quickly, you ask? Well, the secret to a light, flaky biscuit is keeping the butter cold. When the butter melts in the oven, it creates pockets of air, resulting in that beautiful flaky texture we love in our shortcake biscuits. Now let's bring it all together. Pour in one cup of heavy cream and a dash of vanilla extract for a touch of aromatic sweetness. Mix just until the dough comes together. Don't overmix or you'll end up with tough biscuits. Once your dough is formed, lightly flour your surface and turn the dough out onto it. Gently press it out to about a half inch thickness. Then. Grab your biscuit cutter and cut out your shortcakes. And now, it's time for their golden transformation. Place your biscuits onto a baking sheet and brush the tops with a bit of heavy cream. This will give them that lovely golden brown color as they bake. And now, these go into the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown. While they're baking, the smell of buttery sweetness will fill your kitchen, making the anticipation even more delightful. Stay tuned, because up next, we're preparing the juicy star of our show, the strawberries. While our shortcakes are baking, it's time to prepare the strawberries. We're seeking to unlock the full potential of these red gems. Let's grab a handful of fresh ripe strawberries. You can practically smell the springtime air just by taking a whiff of these beauties. Now, we'll start by gently rinsing our strawberries under cool water. This will help to remove any residual dirt or unwanted particles. Then, we'll pat them dry, making sure they're completely moisture-free. Next, we'll move on to the fun part, slicing. Using a sharp knife, we'll carefully remove the green tops from each strawberry. Now we'll slice each strawberry into thin, even slices. It's not just about aesthetics. Slicing them this way will help the strawberries to release their natural juices, creating a deliciously sweet and tangy syrup. But we're not quite done yet. We want to enhance the natural sweetness of our strawberries, so we'll sprinkle them with a touch of sugar. This isn't just about adding sweetness, though. The sugar will draw out more of the strawberry's natural juices, resulting in a luscious syrupy mix that's just perfect for our shortcakes. Now, we'll give our strawberries a gentle toss, making sure each slice is well coated with sugar. Then, we'll set them aside to macerate. This process will allow our strawberries to release their juices and become tender and flavorful. Set these aside and let's check on our shortcakes. Look at these golden brown beauties! Now it's time for the fun part assembly! Our shortcakes have cooled down to the perfect temperature. They are flaky, buttery, and ready to be dressed up with our vibrant strawberries and velvety whipped cream. Let's get started. First, we're going to slice our shortcakes in half horizontally, just like opening a little book of deliciousness. There we go, look at that light, fluffy interior. You can tell we've done a good job with the dough. 
Now let's grab our bowl of strawberries. Remember, we've sprinkled them with a touch of sugar earlier to bring out their natural juices. It's time to put these juicy gems to good use. Take a generous spoonful of strawberries and place them on the bottom half of each shortcake. Don't be shy, the more the merrier as they say. These strawberries are the heart of our dessert, adding a burst of freshness and sweetness to every bite. Next, we're going to take our freshly whipped cream. This isn't just any cream, it's rich, luscious, and has a hint of vanilla. Let's add a dollop on top of the strawberries. The cream will act as a delightful contrast to the tangy strawberries and the buttery shortcake. Now, it's time to put our shortcake hats on. Gently place the top half of each shortcake over the cream, and just like that, we've got a lovely little sandwich of sweetness. But we're not done yet. For the final touch, let's garnish our shortcakes. Add a few more strawberries on top for that extra pop of color and a sprig of mint for a hint of freshness. And voila! Your strawberry shortcake is ready to be devoured. The combination of the buttery shortcake, juicy strawberries and creamy whipped cream is a match made in dessert heaven. It's a symphony of flavors and textures that will make your taste buds dance with joy. So go ahead, take a bite, experience the magic of this timeless dessert. And remember, the joy of cooking is about experimenting and having fun. So feel free to add your own twist to this recipe. Until next time, enjoy your strawberry shortcake. That's it, folks. The ultimate strawberry shortcake experience right in your kitchen. We started off by gathering the freshest strawberries, all-purpose flour, baking powder, sugar, salt, cold butter, heavy cream, and a splash of vanilla extract. The key to a great shortcake, as we discovered, is to work swiftly and keep everything cold. This is what gives our shortcakes that beautiful buttery texture we all adore. Next, we prepped our oven to a cozy 425 degree F and started on the shortcake biscuits. A quick mix of our dry ingredients followed by the careful cutting in of cold butter and we had our biscuit dough ready. Pressing it out onto a floured surface and cutting out rounds, we sent them into the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. While our shortcakes were baking, we moved on to our star ingredient, the strawberries. A swift slicing and a sprinkle of sugar later, our strawberries were ready, bursting with flavor and sweetness. Just as our shortcakes turned golden brown, we took them out and set them on a cooling rack. And then came the fun part assembly. A generous spoonful of strawberries on the bottom half of each shortcake, a dollop of freshly whipped cream, and we were almost there. Topped off with the other half of the shortcake and garnished with a few more strawberries and a sprig of mint, we had the ultimate strawberry shortcake experience. It's been a delight sharing this recipe with you. I hope you are as excited to try it out as I was to make it. Remember, the joy of cooking comes from experimenting, so don't be afraid to put your own twist on it. Let me know how it turns out for you. I'm eager to hear about your baking adventures. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your fellow dessert lovers. Until next time, happy baking!